Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And it is official. The Springboks will take on Wales in a one-off test overseas before coming back to South Africa for the two-match series against Ireland and the first ever match between South Africa and Portugal. Uh, Rumours were that we were potentially be playing in this game and it has officially been confirmed that the Qatar Cup is back and uh, lots of uh, folks around that last season and uh, it was a very uh, cool test for us when we beat the All Blacks and there will be a... Uh, a revival of the test uh, that will happen in June uh, with a joint press release from SA Rugby and Welsh Rugby Union being released just moments ago. Before we go into some of the uh, what well, some of the, 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 the details are about the game as well as potentially sort of why it's taking place in Twickenham, which is obviously causing a little bit of a stir, please do smash a like on the video. Please do um, subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so we will be returning to uh, Twickenham for the first time since winning the Rugby World Cup, uh, where we played a once-off Rugby World Cup warm-up game against um, New Zealand in the Qatar Cup. Uh, and uh, this will now take place once again, but this time against Wales. And uh, it's the second time we will play in neutral territory in a, in a sort of once-off test that's not a world official sort of, well, is a World Cup warm-up game. Uh, for example, in a, a non-World Cup warm-up match. Uh, so... Uh, it is going to be a really good opportunity for uh, the Springboks to get going. And I'm very interested to see the t the, uh, the squads. Uh, so the date is the 22nd of um, June, which is a bit of a strange one because that's kind of the date that's actually been set for a lot of finals. I think the top 14 finals both been 22nd of June. The URC Grand Finals both been 22nd of June. I'm pretty sure the Premiership Final is actually uh, supposed to be there as well. So that could immediately mean that certain players might not be available to the box. Uh, we're very interested to see what would happen if a Stormers were in the final, uh, for example, because uh, I'd be very surprised if they'd be released to the Spring Box um, for that final. Uh, similarly, you know, with, with Premiership sides and stuff like that. So we could already be seeing a bit of a rotated uh, side in that squad, uh, depending on what happens in the various sort of club competitions. Now, uh, Primo Rossi Rasmus has uh, said that uh, he is very happy to be going back to Twickenham to take on the Wales. He said as follows. Uh, he said, we are thrilled to return to Twickenham in what will mark our first test since the Rugby World Cup final in France. We have very fond memories of the Rugby World Cup warm-up test we played against the All Blacks at Twickenham last year. The atmosphere and occasion were truly remarkable and we're expecting a very similar experience in June. Playing against Wales, who, have, uh, who we have faced before in an exhilarating 2015 Rugby World Cup quarterfinal, will bring back plenty of other memories as well. We may be playing on foreign territory, but we enjoy fantastic support from the expat community in London and its surrounds, as we saw last year, where most of the supporters don green and gold, so we're really looking forward to the match. Uh, we, actually had a, uh, we actually had somebody there uh, who, who went, or Chris went there, and he, and he did remark that he reckons that definitely have more sort of Springbok fans than New Zealand fans uh, at, at the time. It'll kick off at 3 o'clock on, uh, on 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 uh, the 22nd of June, and there will then be a Barbarians versus, versus Fiji game immediately after the game. So it's a double header. Uh, so it's going to be a very cool game to be able to go to, to be able to watch, first of all, SA versus Wales, and then Fiji versus Barbarians. You couldn't really ask for much more. Uh, it also looks like it will be then leading into... Um, you know, uh, potential sort of premiership finals, URC finals, and the likes. Uh, so in terms of our confirmed test schedule as it stands now, 22nd of June, we get underway against Wales. Two weeks later, we then have back-to-back-to-back uh, -to -back -to -back tests, 6th of July, 30th of July against Ireland at Loftus and Durban, and then SA versus Portugal in Bloemfontein. We will then have uh, Australia and uh, times two in uh, away fixtures in August, the 10th and the 17th of August, before we will then host New Zealand uh, at Emirates Airline Park and the DHL Stadium down in Cape Town. We will then take on Argentina, venue to be confirmed. Um, I would imagine that would be in Cuerca. It's the only sort of a big sort of absentee with regards to uh, venue so far. So I imagine that was where it will potentially be. And uh, then on the 28th of September, it will be SA versus Argentina at the Mbombela Stadium down in Nelspreet, uh, or up in Nelspreet, depending where you are. The only uh, confirmed test in that uh, alternation series at the moment is uh, England versus SA at Twickenham on the 16th or 17th of November. So expect to see at least two tests being scheduled um, around there. So at this stage, potentially four tests, we will then have looking at, uh, at a quite a stacked calendar. So at the moment, we've got 11 confirmed tests. Uh, if we play two tests, because we've got four 
uh, before the rugby championship, and then we play six during the rugby championship. So that's 10 and then England 11. So if we play two more tests during that uh, Autumn Nations thing, then we'll have a 13 test season. And if we have four tests, we'll have a 14 test season. So lots of rugby for the Springboks this year. Uh, in terms of why we're playing Twickenham, it's a money thing. At the end of the day, you know, we, we made good money from going over to play that game against the All Blacks, and this will be a similar thing. So, you know, you might not like it from a traditional point of view. I don't really mind it. I think, uh, you know, if it does a lot for the commercial value of the box, it does a lot for the commercial value of the box, it gives an extra test. There's no time zone issue, so it's not like you're going to have jet lags. And I, I think the fact that we can get a bit of an outing before Ireland is a really good thing. Uh, so I know a couple of the Welsh fans of Australia won't be at the Principality, but maybe that's a good thing. You know, maybe, you know, it's 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 a good thing to have those games, you know, those home games be part of incoming series like the Autumn Nations series, for example, and 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 stuff. And, and again, like it's a one sort of random sort of exhibition game is what it really is. Um, maybe it's a good thing that it's not taking place at the National Stadium as taking place on a, on a sort of a neutral ground. Um, from a South African expat um, community perspective, there's obviously a lot of, 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 of South Africans in London. And in the UK. So this is really cool for them. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please do smash the like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.